With the recent release of Gutenberg, all the other page builders on the WordPress marketplace are going to be challenged to continue to keep the pace above this new and up and coming page building experience within WordPress. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and just give a standardized test. You know, as an engineer, I love testing things. And I want to look at a bunch of different page builder and theme combinations. And I want to test them against the new Gutenberg and understand truly what is necessary, what is right for you. And I want to look at it on a couple different dimensions. I want to look at the speed of building the actual page. So I know there are certain page builders that are a bit more clunky, some that are extremely elegant and, and nicely efficient. And I want to look at the actual build speed time. I want to look at how easy it is to build. You know, how, how frustrated do I feel after getting the design that I wanted from all these different page builders? I also want to look at the end result page speed because obviously just building a beautiful web page doesn't matter if it takes too long for it to load and you lose the interest of your prospective visitor. So I want to look at the page sp speed of the end result. And I want to just get kind of give an overall end rating, kind of end feel of what I think about these different combinations. And in this experiment that we're going to run, I want to compare Divi using the Divi theme and the Divi builder. I'm also going to use a bunch of different builders using the Astra theme. You know, I'm trying to uh, minimize the number of variables that are in this experiment, but obviously with Divi, it, it makes sense to use the Divi built theme because it is so tightly integrated with the builder. But for the rest, I want to use the Astra free theme level. And I want to test Thrive Architect, Breezy, and Gutenberg all against each other. And I want to compare all these different categories and run five speed tests for each website. I'm running a brand new fresh installation of WordPress. I'm running on the same hosting account using Bluehost. And I just want to see kind of what is the winner. Uh, you obviously have to factor in cost if there's ongoing cost versus totally free options, extendability, future proofness, all the things that are out there. But I want to standardize this and truly give you a feel for what's going on when it comes to an actual standardized test. So let's take a look at the page we're going to build across all these different builders. So this is currently the homepage at IncomeMesh.com, but as a result of this page, it may change because I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've selfishly been wondering what is the right tool to use for income mesh i like launching courses i like having future proof uh, page builders on here but i didn't don't know if divi or gutenberg is is you know big enough to be able to create this uh future proof style so this is the page that we're going to be building as a part of this experiment uh, we'll walk through kind of the elements individually but that i want to give you a quick overview so this is currently built out in Divi, uh, but we'll see if we can build it with each builder as well. And it has kind of a hero section where it has just a simple call to action text, some subtext. It's a two column layout where you have my image on one side. There's a picture in the background, but the picture is actually a transparent background, so you can color it different ways. It has, so it currently has an orange color and a simple call to action button with a simple little hover effect. We have kind of a, a feature section where it has a bunch of different info boxes or blurbs that have uh, image icons added in there. Have another three, uh, a one column and then a three column layout where we have a uh, header, some text and some different padding going on, padding elements going on here. A blog roll. Now this element's going to be a little bit limited because I am using fresh WordPress installs. I won't have any blog posts on there, but we might go ahead and make some, some example blog posts just to, to use for the test. And then further on down, we have another section with another um, background image with the orange color with two columns, some questions, and a single column question or uh, question button there. And finally, the footer, which has some social follow buttons, some a little free opt-in with an opt-in form here. So a couple things kind of right off the bat. Because every page builder has its own innate default styles, you know, this was built in Divi. So there's some things that are kind of Divi focused that you can get similar results, but not the exact same results on other builders. I'm going to give that a pass. I'm not going to try to do custom CSS to make everything perform the way that Divi performs, but I want to go for the same look and feel using the exact same images, the exact same column layouts, and do the best I can to build these pages individually in each one of the building combinations that we're looking Looking at here, uh, but you know if it's going to be 95% the same, but there's going to be some uniqueness just based on the builder that I'm using. Obviously, that's just going to be part of the game. So that's what's coming next. Uh, over the next couple of days, I'll be releasing each one of these videos with a different builder and theme combination. And at the end of it, I'll give you my overall results. And I'll also summarize this towards the end. So go ahead and subscribe and like if you want to be along for the journey. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.